Hugh, <laughs> Hugh, my boyfriend, we've been together for 22 years. Now, Hugh does not sound anything like I wanted my fantasy boyfriend to sound like, you know. But I love him, and I wouldn't, that's all part of the package. I could identify sounding gay. I think from, I think the first time I heard my voice recorded, I was shocked. I was a little kid, it sounded like Shirley Temple. <laughs> but he can also fix everything. You know, he could <laughs> redo the wiring in this house. He can solder the pipes together. He can, you know, so really on the masculinity scale, he wins. You know, even, the, even with that voice, he still wins. <laughs> Hugh could beat me. He could set me on fire while I was asleep. I will never, ever leave him. You know what I mean? Because I do not ever want to be single again. Like, I don't ever want to have to go on a date again. I don't ever want to have to set foot in a gay bar ever again. None of it. Putting aside the terror of being single, I can see that the men in these happy couples didn't ask each other to change. Instead, they became more themselves. 